to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. For you alone are faithful. For you alone are faithful, Christ alone. Oh, come, let us adore Him. Will you come, let us adore Him? Oh, come, let us adore Him. Father, we thank you. It remains an honor and indeed a privilege to worship To give you praise to learn to grow to be built and to be established this is your atmosphere and we are your people we have come as proof that we trust you we have come as proof that we love you we have come as proof that we need you Breathe upon us tonight that the times we have left in your presence fellowshipping as a body of believers, let it not be a waste in the name of Jesus. We declare tonight that there is the hearing of faith and even the walking of miracles. Let Jesus and him alone be glorified. Amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you. Please be seated. I welcome all who are connecting from all around the world, nation to nation, continent to continent. This is Koinonia. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. And we're happy our Zaria Center is also connecting with us. Blessings to you, dear people of God, in the name of Jesus. Two functions very quickly, and then we'll head straight to the word of God. Amen. We're honored to have in our midst a very great, great man of God, indeed a veteran of the gospel. Please help me celebrate Apostle Goodheart. Thank you, sir. Blessings to you. Thank you. I love you, sir. We honor you. Thank you. Is this the best you can do for him? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you. Truly thank you. Hallelujah. Second, very quickly, is to publicly appreciate my friend and brother. He did something very, very touching. Um, Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, his, his uh, album, Hallelujah Again, you know, um, I'm, I'm not sure, I don't know if he's released it yet, but he sent 1,000 copies to Koinonia, free, completely free, as a seed of love, and um, I just thought that it was, it was truly good to bless him. I'm sure he probably may be connecting. Pastor Nath, thank you. We love you. Thank you for this sacrifice. Indeed, it will be hallelujah again in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you ready for tonight? Give me an encounter, O oh God, that will change my life. Please lift your voice and pray. Open down my eyes, the Bible declares, that I may behold wondrous things from out of thy law. Are you praying? Let it be from the depth of your heart.
For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. For the way of the Lord is the way of wisdom. I choose the way of the Lord. The Bible declares there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. It says, but the end thereof are the ways of death. It is the Holy Spirit who sustains the ability to guide men into all truth. It says, when he, the spirit of truth is come, he shall guide you into all truth. He shall guide you, guide you, guide you, step by step. He leads me and I will follow him all of my days as confused as I may look step by step you are leading me and we will follow you all of my days the Bible says and your ear shall hear a voice saying this is the way walk ye in it and if you are foolish enough to follow he promises you that you will find rest there is rest in his leadership when the holy ghost leads us the lord is my shepherd he says i shall not want he makes me to lie down in green pastures the bible says he leads me before the quiet waters and he restores my soul then he guides me along the path of righteousness for his name's sake he does it for his name's sake he does it for his reputation he does it as a responsible father as a responsible creator listen to me people of god it pays to respect the leadership of the holy spirit you may not look like it but if you can submit to the leadership of the holy spirit the rabbi of the ages he's a master at leading men to the place of destiny in the midst of the confusion he guides you he leads you until you find a heaven your life becomes a sign and a wonder at the instance of his leadership he's worth your attention he leads by his word he leads by his voice so every time we gather like this listen to me we're not just here to honor a program or to listen to a man more than that we are here as proof of our hunger for his leadership that one moment of a genuine encounter with his word when that word comes as light it is able to take you to realms unimagined this is true this is not a sermon god is able to lead men to the place of destiny otherwise why is he god he's able to lead us he's able to guide us our assignment is to trust his leadership and then to submit to his principles it is a foolish student who argues with a lecturer when he guides you don't change the formula be foolish enough to respect what he gives you to the latter and all that will be left at the other side of your obedience is a sign and a wonder a tearsome testimony you will be the first one who even is afraid of your own testimony it is true i believe him i believe his leadership he does not waste our time now you have given your attention to things and people of lesser value it pays to pay attention to him give him a chance to turn your life into a sign and a wonder don't sit arguing wondering can god do something about my life this is the ancient of days he's a master at making men it's not only the heaven and the earth that he makes he's not only the maker of heaven and earth he's a maker of men ancient words ever true they're changing me and changing you 
We have come with open hearts, so let the ancient words. Jeremiah chapter 6 and verse 16. It says, to stand in the way and to ask for the old path. Please look up. It says, wherein is the good way and walk daring and you shall find rest for your soul. But here is the response that people will usually give. We will not walk daring. We went to school. We have our own formula around life. We've been intelligent. We are well traveled. The Holy Spirit comes knocking, beckoning on as many people who can pay attention to him. I will turn you into a sign and a wonder, he says. It's up to you to believe me enough. Take the risk. Believe me and blame me if I don't make you. My spirit is fired up tonight. We'll have a few minutes. But please pay attention to that which I'll be sharing with you tonight. I pray to God bowing my knees this evening and I said, Lord, world over people will be following this conference, be following this meeting. I pray that they will not only follow just to honor a program, but that they will listen to be transformed. Listen to be transformed. Listen to be transformed. You can listen just for information. You can listen because your, your ear happens to be around where sound is being made. But you can listen intentionally for the purpose of transformation. He says, meditate on these things. Paul was teaching his son Timothy. He says, give yourself wholly to them. Leaves you with an assurance that your profiting will appear unto all. He that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully. Are we blessed? The mysteries of the kingdom. The mysteries of the kingdom. I want to share with you two very deep revelations tonight that I believe in the name of Jesus will truly be a blessing to us and will open us up to tremendous dimensions of God's power and grant us the fortitude to produce uncommon, unusual, extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus the Christ of God. Praise the Lord. And whilst the word is coming tonight, it will be as it were in Acts chapter 10. That while the Holy Ghost yet spake this, while Peter yet spake these things, the Holy Ghost fell. I want you to be sensitive not only to hear, but to also receive. I believe that there are engracings that will be happening whilst we're listening inside all of the overflows down to the basement outside. Let your attention be wrapped on the word as it comes. Those following from any nation, just pay attention, lend your destiny this time and let God work wonders in our lives. In the name of Jesus, please write this down. God is a God of patterns. I like to start tonight by reminding us and for some bringing it as a new information to your Christian experience that God is a God of patterns. A pattern is a modus operandi. A pattern is a prescribed or authorized methodology. It's a formula. The means of achieving a desired result predictably is called a pattern. God is not only a great God. God is not only a mighty God. He is a God of patterns. Oftentimes we'll see in scripture that he hardly does the same thing twice. When he starts a process, he will reveal it as a dimension of himself and then he will surround it with a spiritual pattern for its continuity. Are we together now? He made the first man, he made the second, the first man and the first woman and never had to put his hand to mold and make a man again. He designed a pattern in them for the continuity of the human race. Are we together now? He did the first planting, the first watering and created a pattern around agriculture that makes for supplies. God is a God of patterns. Patterns 
are the correct way things are done patterns they are the pathways that guarantee predictable outcomes that means that it is on the strength of patterns that our christian experiences find predictability and even continuity in the dealings of god with men you may want to listen and then write in the dealings of god with men please listen we are not at liberty to invent our way of knowing and following god when it has to do with walking with god creativity is not needed it is obedience and surrender is when it has to do with legislating on behalf of the kingdom then you can bring in your creativity but as far as following god is concerned you need obedience and adherence men are not at liberty to invent their way of walking with god there is a prescribed way to walk with god in order to get results and then in order to live a foot a divine pattern has been adhered to success is proof that a divine pattern has been adhered to blessings to you minister dunsin thank you i love you thank you for coming thank you sir hallelujah success at any level is proof that a divine pattern has been adhered to failure is also proof that a divine pattern has been ignored violated or not thoroughly followed i'll come again failure is proof that a divine pattern has been ignored way he is not only truth he's not only life he is the way are we together now in genesis chapter 4 probably the first authentic representation of a man's willful violation of god's pattern outside of the garden genesis chapter 4 please we'll read very quickly the first seven verses the bible says and adam knew his wife eve and she conceived and bare cain and said i have gotten a man from the lord and she again bare his brother abel and abel was a keeper of sheep the bible says but cain was a tiller of the ground follow the story verse 3 it says and in the process of time it came to pass that cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the lord so it's talking about offerings giving five verse 4 says and abel he also brought up the firstlings of his flock and the fat thereof. And then the Bible makes a very interesting statement. It says, and the Lord had respect, regard unto Abel and to his offering. First the man, then his activity. The Bible says, but unto Cain and to his offering, he had not respect. As a result, Cain was very wrought and his countenance fell. Please keep verse 5. Very interesting statement. There are consequences for violating divine patterns. There are consequences for being and living in ignorance. This is one of it. Frustration. Your Christian experience becomes a plethora of frustrations. From one circle of frustration to the other. Cain was sad and angry. Why? Because his life was not producing the kind of result he wanted. Verse 6, and the Lord said unto Cain, why art thou wrought? Why art thou angry? And why is thy countenance fallen? Verse 7 is a very powerful instruction. If thou doest well, that means if you do what you do according to pattern, shall thou not be accepted? And if you do not do well, be careful. Your frustration will lead you to a point where sin lies at your door. Frustration that is prolonged has a consequence. It will push you into all kinds of things. Bitterness, envy, anger. It says, Cain, the cure for all these things that are happening to you is to understand divine patterns. Because that outcome can also be a possibility in your life. Sin lieth at your door, and unto thee shall be his desire and thou shalt rule over him when you read the other part of the story the bible says cain killed abel divine patterns if violated 
have severe consequences we're dealing with the mysteries of the kingdom but it's important for us to understand because you see results in this kingdom do not just happen please understand this results are very methodical results are predictable because they they happen at the instance of spiritual patterns results are not an issue of opinions they are not just an issue of um you know sociological or tribal or whatever affiliations whoever can subscribe to that pattern there is a guarantee there is an investment of god's integrity upon his patterns if you're with me please say amen, amen. exodus chapter 25 moses receives an instruction to build a tabernacle in the wilderness we'll read verse 9 and then we'll jump to verse 40 exodus chapter 25 it says according to all that i show you moses is receiving an instruction now after the pattern of the tabernacle it says and the pattern of all the instruments thereof even so thou shalt make it so to build the tabernacle in the wilderness moses was taken in the spirit to see the tabernacle in heaven and he said make sure you sustain that same pattern and then verse 40 says and look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown unto thee on the mount let me tell you this this is very powerful because this is a principle that is also used in witchcraft and occultism i'm not here to, we're not discussing demonology tonight but let me explain something when someone goes to meet a herbalist please look up and says i want to take a charm or i want to introduce a spirit to my house do you know what happens the victim does not even know what is happening they conjure spirits and those spirits reveal the pattern that simulates their current environment they want to come to your house they can't come to your house till your house looks like where they currently are so the native doctor he sustains intelligence through divination by conjuring all the substances spiritually and physically that can simulate the current habitation of that spirit are we together you take a token of that atmosphere to your house now whether the spirit is in your house or where it was it does not know the difference again because whether it's in your house or it's in that place the pattern that makes for his presence is already there are you getting what i'm saying now hmm. this is how it works so god is saying if you want me to feel at home in that wilderness you must be able to reproduce a pattern where there is almost no difference whether i'm sitting on my throne or i'm with you in that wilderness moses if it's my presence you want to secure subscribe to my patterns are we together now mm -hmm. exodus chapter 40 we'll read verse 16 then we jump to 33 to see the miracle when we adhere to patterns exodus 40 let's start from verse 16 then we jump to 33 Please give it to us. Exodus 40, 16. Thus did Moses, according to all that the Lord had commanded him, so did he. Watch this. 33. This was the last instruction being adhered to now. And he read up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work according to pattern. The result... 34 the bible says and then a cloud can you imagine that god was watching and never came until the last peg was put according to pattern then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation and the glory of the lord filled the tabernacle 35 the bible says and moses was not able to enter the tent of the congregation because the cloud abode thereon and the glory of the lord filled the tabernacle spiritual patterns there is a pattern for genuine salvation is that true you don't get saved the way you want there is a prescribed pattern for instance romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10 gives us the biblical pattern the pathway to receiving jesus if you receive him any other way you can be sure according to scripture you are not saved are we together you can verify whether an individual is saved not just by looking at the individual's personality you check if the pattern that leads to salvation was adhered to there is something in um when 
those who are in manufacturing there is something called quality control am i correct quality control insists that the patterns are kept to the letter so when the products are made they pass through a quality control department and their assignment is to verify was everything done and made correctly they can detect defections and then send it back and say no 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 we cannot send this because this is an indictment on our reputation and our image patterns the spiritual quality control systems that guarantee that what comes out of it has the signature of god the glory of god there is a pattern for spiritual growth we don't just grow anyhow in this kingdom there is a methodical spiritual approach that was given to the saints that if you administer it like a drug to any spiritual patient there is a guarantee we have medical personnel here we have doctors and regardless the individual in most cases when an individual says i have malaria or i have whatever sickness the there are there are drugs that have already been designed is that true the doctor or the manufacturer does not have to be there with you provided it passed from them or recommended by their intelligence they know it will work for you so you don't need to scratch your head wondering will this work it's been tested there is a pattern for spiritual growth you can know you are growing not just because you've stayed long in church not just because you have appointments in church you can know you are growing if and when you subscribe to the spiritual pattern and according to scripture the pattern that is made for growth is called doctrine if you are not receiving the administration of doctrine the, the possibility for growth is not there regardless where you are doctrine is the course curriculum that builds the believer into maturity are we blessed there is a pattern for church growth for instance a ministry does not just grow there is a spiritual pattern that makes it happen a company does not just grow a business does not just grow no there are patterns for it one of the keys that control it for instance is i if i be lifted up from the earth he says i will draw men so the more you hide behind the veil and you allow Jesus to be seen and to be lifted up, there is a promise that he will draw men to himself. There is a pattern for wealth and abundance. Takes more than desire. Takes more than business. Takes more than investments. Takes more than a job to be transgenerationally blessed. There is a spiritual pattern. There is an economic system in this kingdom by which the saints rise. It's not subject to it has no prejudice attached to it that whoever like cain receiving a warning from god whoever can subscribe to it with understanding inevitably will emerge carrying that testimony there is a pattern for building your faith if your faith is small if your faith is weak you are violating a spiritual pattern that makes for the development of your faith the bible says so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of god but faith does not just grow by hearing alone but ye beloved building up yourself on your most holy faith you have to know how it comes you have to know how it grows you have to know how it is administered is god blessing us tonight there is a pattern for the anointing this probably is one of the sincere desires for many people especially in the body of christ do you know respectfully speaking probably eight or ten out of people who come uh seeking prayer especially those in ministry what they really want and and, and they are very sincere they will tell me apostle what i desire is the anointing i want the anointing is in an unusual way in an unusual degree very sincere desire but there is a pattern just because it comes from heaven does not mean it comes anyhow even in heaven there are patterns you don't walk into the throne room just because jesus is there no there are patterns you never find angels just roaming around the throne room because if it is no 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 there is an order there is an ordinance there are patterns remember satan is not there the construction of heaven 
was done with a pattern the names of the 12 apostles being the foundation itself there is a way the anointing comes there is a way the anointing increases there is a way the anointing is administered just having a desire does not necessarily bring the anointing there are different levels of the anointing there are different dimensions of the anointing please pay attention just because you enjoy a dimension of the anointing does not mean it can do everything in your life no are we together spiritual patterns there is a pattern for activating favor in your life favor with god and favor with men luke 2 52 the bible declares that jesus increased so we can increase in wisdom in stature and the bible says in favor with god and with men if you have favor with god alone like you may have heard me say you will have encounters you will have visions but you will really suffer as far as this life is concerned you need favor with men favor does not just happen i think one of the misunderstood subjects not the only one but one of the many misunderstood subjects in the body of christ is the subject of favor for a very very long time respectfully speaking we thought that favor just happens just like that no sir no sir no sir there is an intentional formula for many years we kept calling breakthrough favor if it happens only once it's not favor it must be repeated to be favor regardless the surrounding circumstances proverbs 13 15 the bible says good understanding giveth favor good understanding that is the mother that bears this child called favor it says transgression it's also a pregnant woman that can give birth to something called hardship hardship does not just happen it is a direct product of violating certain laws good understanding give it favor but the way of the transgressor the violator of patterns is hard there is a pattern for building and maintaining relationships they don't just happen is that true Amos chapter 3 and verse 3, for instance, it says, Can two walk together except they be agreed? The word agreed means um, compatible, similarity in viewpoints. That he that wants friends, your fools shall be destroyed. Do not be deceived, the Bible declares, it said, good company. There is a pattern for a model home. It does not just happen. Psalm 112 blessed is the man that feared the lord that delighted greatly in his commands he said his seed shall be mighty upon earth he says the generation of the upright shall be blessed the generation not just the children the generation of the upright shall be blessed wealth and riches the next verse says shall be in his house and yet his righteousness endures forever there is a pattern for restoration there is a pattern for restoration the possibility of recovery is a reality and, and gone can come back. I prophesied as I was commanded Ezekiel 37 and he said there was a... Are we together? Yes. There is a pattern for exemption. It can come upon you and make you to testify that there is a lifting up. Is it in your Bible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That a thou behold the reward of the wicked. These are patterns. It is the presence of work of victory if and only when you understand the patterns that this life demands. Safe, but you can have abundant life. Hmm. Are we blessed? He says, I am come, the thief cometh not, John 10, 10, but for to steal, have abundant life. Life overflowing, some versions will say. You only succeed in this kingdom. To the degree to which you build according to pattern please pay attention the lord is edifying us tonight i can trust the works of my hands i can trust my tomorrow not just because i'm the one leaving it out but because of the patterns i know i am following 
If you are not following divine patterns, there is no guarantee for success. Even if it looks successful, you will be surprised at the instance at which it will change. There is a way that seemeth right. Seemeth right means there is some ray of hope as you look at it. But it's at the end you will know you have been wasting your time. Write this down. Building according to pattern guarantees three things. Very quickly. Building according to pattern guarantees three things. Number one, the glory of God. The manifestation of the glory of God. As we read earlier on in Exodus chapter 40, 16 and then 33 to 35. Building according to pattern secures and guarantees the glory of God. The manifest presence of God. Every time the glory of God shows up in a place in a life in a ministry in a family it comes as an attestation as a validation that divine patterns have been followed please listen carefully you will never experience the glory of god in your life until divine patterns are kept hmm. so if i see the favor of god in my life if i see extraordinary results in my life they come not just in honor to my prayer and my request alone. They come as tokens of validation. Proofs that I have walked in keeping with the divine patterns that make for these possibilities. You must trust God for grace to stop shadow boxing. God by this truth is bringing us to a point of mastery where there can be predictability to your Christian experience. Divine patterns securing the glory of God moses you want to see my glory in that tabernacle in the wilderness there is a way that you can engage my patterns and you will see my glory testimonies that happen in church every week is more than just the anointing of a man there are patterns that are followed you see let me tell you this creation was designed to honor these patterns are you aware of that that as have hazard as life and living looks they were designed it's like they are codes of possibilities creation will remain disobedient to you until they find you walking in keeping with this pattern there are enough men to favor you but they will not come until the pattern that attracts favor is kept you will be surprised how easy it is for you to be lifted and yet you remain on the ground for a long time but the day you find the key then esther chapter 2 and verse 15 becomes your testimony and esther obtained favor in the sight of all them not some all them that looked upon her to the point where in verse 17 even the king could not resist that charm like grace the bible says the king loved esther above all the women she obtained grace and favor in his sight my head thou exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil. My head you have exalted like the horn of a unicorn. And I am anointed with fresh oil. I raised this song because I just saw a jar. I just saw a jar with oil dripping on it. I don't know who that grace is for but whilst you are sitting i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names i just spoke about this esther anointing and i saw a jar that's why i raised that song father i don't know how many people here who must drink of this grace but i stretch my hands in the name of jesus and by the spirit of faith may that unction come upon your life now may that grace come upon your life now please sit down the proof of favor is not money. No. The proof of favor is the hearts of men. When God gives you the heart of men, you are really favored. Are we blessed? We must become, as I would always say, spiritual archaeologists. 
like the magi looking to the sky to discern signs what is responsible for results what is responsible for lifting i spent my life searching these mysteries of the kingdom trying to understand the patterns that connect to results not wanting to live my life shadow boxing and guessing there has to be a way out please help those who start running now under the anointing i just saw a vision and i just saw like it's like light just falling on people this is what i'm saying just help them we'll continue the teaching but i just saw this in the spirit it's, it's, it's an impartation god is bringing that grace please help them oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah yahweh 18 18 people this is what i'm saying oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah yahweh Oh yeah, I say. Oh yeah, yeah. Yahweh. Oh yeah, I say. Thou anointest my head with oil and my cup, my destiny, run it over, run it over. I continue to pray this, but I want you to bring this set of people out who are still preaching. There is an unction for speed that is coming on people right now. They will begin to run by the Spirit of God. The Lord is breaking cycles. These are patterns. Bring them out. Tena na katabarato shadeka likapa, sates kabarentes kodi bahashela katos. Speed to your feet, giving you acceleration in life, acceleration in destiny. Please help them. In the name of Jesus Christ, bring them. I want to speak over their life. We are still teaching. Parato sheleke paruziata. You came to church. This is the house of God, the gates of heaven. I decree and declare speed speed to destinies speed to men i shift you acceleration 10 years in one please believe it believe it believe it it says if you believe you will see the glory of god speed and acceleration to your life in the name of jesus the christ of god in the name of jesus the christ of god all the overflows outside following from any nation i decree and declare speed to your destiny speed to your destiny encounter that grace that shift men encounter that grace that can shift businesses speed to your christian experience pray in the spirit in one minute receive it for your life father in the name of jesus acceleration by the spirit for my destiny. Shabbatis, Katapas, Katabakato, Sabrataskia, Shagatabakata, Koto Protos, Kotobakata. I will hasten my word. I will hasten my word. I will hasten my word to perform. I will hasten my word to perform i will hasten my word give speed to my speakings give speed to my prophecies for all those who are out and under the anointing i declare the same way the holy ghost located you I declare speed speed with results in the name of jesus the christ of god some of you are representing families some of you are representing ministries you are representing businesses may that grace speak for you no power in existence 
will stop you from walking in this anointing in the name of jesus the christ of god listen speed is one of the dominion systems over time because the unit of destiny is time and everything that lacks time speed is more than progress speed dominion over time in the name of jesus let it be we declared by the spirit of grace you came to church to encounter grace and we prophesy by the god of heaven just like the dear man of god minister nosasan now your way is his way to act to, to bring speed to our lives everything standing your way not allowing you to experience speed i lift my hands to the god of our covenant and i declare it must clear out of the way right now for you it must clear out of the way now for you every enchantment katapotoskotoba every divination every covenant activities of familiar spirit sitting on your destiny i will not let you move in the name of jesus i move it for your sake i move it for your sake i move it for your sake Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Your name is your name, breathe, Lord. Just breathe your name upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Just breathe your grace upon me, breathe. Your hand, my head is your name, breathe, breathe, Lord. Hallelujah. Who is Jane? I'm hearing a name, Jane. Who is that? Jane. We'll be seated shortly. Jane. Kali Sane Shalam Brakatos Kete Bariata. This person I'm seeing is like an elderly woman. No, this is not a young lady, but I'll pray for you. I will pray for you but please come just a few minutes will be back seated is God wasting your time sir look at me this man look at me the chains that hold the works of your hands I bring judgment upon them now in the name of Jesus the Christ of God I release you by the spirit of grace go and return with testimonies your life will so shift you will wonder and marvel in the name of jesus christ can i pray for you ma i hope you're not embarrassed that i'm calling you in the name of jesus there is a name above all names there is a name above all names madam shout jesus as loud as you can i declare may grace come upon you and i release you by this by this shout in the name of jesus step into the realms of favor for you and for your family for you and for your family my dear i remove that i'm seeing something that looks like a crown but it's not of god i remove it from your head now this lady out of her life now in the name of jesus christ I hear the chains falling. Where are you coming from? 
Where are you coming from? Abuja. Abuja here. Yes, sir. Did you come alone? Yes, sir. Come. I want to pray for you. Look at me. Just calm down. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Two things. Number one, God is going to take something out of your stomach. Are you hearing what I'm saying? That demonic thing that is growing to become a fibroid, God wants to cause it now. Number two, I want to pray for you. I'm seeing you in the realm of the spirit and I'm seeing a woman, but I'm not seeing a face. This is something that has covered your glory. I want to pray for you. I use as a point of contact. If there is anyone here, the devil has covered your glory. You are among men that can give you visibility, but something is covering you. I bow my knees to the God of heaven and I tear that fell into pieces. I tear that fell into pieces. I tear... I tear that fell into pieces. Hallelujah. Let it be so for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. For all of you who have come out, I decree and declare. For whatever reason you came out, let there be miracles for you supernatural miracles in jesus name what do you do sir huh businessman sir businessman i have a lawyer and gas firm sir just i just asked you what you do i want to pray for you thank you sir i'm seeing you climb a ladder that breaks and brings you down look at me i don't know you all sir but i want to pray for you here god makes men he doesn't just bring made people he makes men stand up what will happen to you between now and august will surprise you i'm saying it in the open i release that grace go back to the oil and gas sector with that grace go and excel shift systems and excel in the name of jesus christ it is god that causes men to advance nobody has the power in himself to advance please hear me it is not within the power of men to move beyond certain points. Mama, the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Let mama come. This is a whole family. I don't know what is it, but God is visiting this family. All of you come out. I'm seen by the spirit. I don't know you. Are you alone, ma? Look at me. Yes, I'm alone. Where are your children? One is in London. The other one's in Abujai. Please, shift. let me talk to mama. Mama, I want to pray for you. Shame and reproach. I'm saying it in the open whatever wants to turn your children to become instruments of shame and reproach I stand by the God of heaven I cancel it right now I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus number two mama you don't have any business with dead people coming to you in dreams while you are sleeping I declare in the name of Jesus every covenant that connects you to the grave I'm using mama to pray for anyone here the voice of the grave is calling you or calling your loved ones you are seeing the faces of dead men in the name of Jesus I break that connection forever I break that connection forever for the living and the dead have nothing in common I separate you by the blood of the eternal covenant Who is Deborah? Deborah. I'm hearing a name, Deborah. And if our God is for us, then who could ever stop us? And if our God is with us, then what can stand in And if our God is for us, then who hallelujah just let me two minutes we are done two of you the power of god is going to come on you eh? i'll pray for everybody but i can imagine that there are so many deborahs you can just stand i know all of you are deborahs but we'll just pray sometimes god just does these things but there are two of you right now as i'm speaking the angel of the lord is pouring oil on your head and the power of God is going to come upon you. There are activations happening to two of you. It's not something you can stand. We're talking of the power of the Holy Spirit here. 
two of you sheneskida halika proskidia edelikatarus kedi shelekosiada may the sound of reproach help her not be heard in your life again that lady under the anointing may the sound of reproach from you and your family not be heard anymore i pray for all of you who have come out by this prophetic word in the name of jesus go back and experience victory go back and experience victory god who located you is also giving you a testimony in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ where are you from my sister where are you from Kaduna road, huh? road i come from Kaduna road from where Kaduna road no 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 where are you from state from of Kogi origin state, Kogi. i want to pray for you that everything that is not the planting of god huh in the name i'm not a prophet of doom don't be afraid i decree and declare anything that wants to bring you down and bring your family to the grave i cancel it right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ for all of you who are out may the lord grant you victory in jesus name please go back to your seat rejoicing very quickly hallelujah i don't know if it's the mother or the person who is here your son has written jam jam seven times no admission they try and try and nothing happens i don't know if the individual is here or i just want to break that that demonic hold right now and then we'll sit down and listen number two well this this may not be something i'll say publicly but we have to pray i'm seeing a politician in serious trouble we have to pray we have to pray the spirit of the waster in the name of jesus provided you are under this influence we declare that for the sake of the grace and the mercy of god everything that wants to cause the sword you do not live by the sword and you will not die by the sword in the name of jesus christ the cause of the waster will follow them in the name of jesus who is the christ of god the cause of the waster will follow them in the name of jesus can we sit down to continue please sit down god bless you i rebuke that spirit that lady let me pray for her the lady on green there yeah. i command that devil let her go now release her destiny give her peace in jesus name god bless you you can take them including this one now in jesus name now please pay attention we're discussing something here spiritual patterns guarantee the glory of god every time his glory is revealed it is proof that his patterns have been kept number two compliance to spiritual patterns guarantees sustainable results sustainable results matthew chapter 7 please give us verse 24 to 27 matthew chapter 7 therefore whosoever heareth these sayings of mine the bible says and doeth them i will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock reading to 27 and the rain descended listen carefully and the floods came and the winds blew and beat upon that house everything that happened to the other fellow building on sand happened to this same man the bible says and it fell not why for it was was founded upon a rock 26 and everyone that heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand last verse and the rain descended the floods came the winds blew and beat upon that house and it fell here's what the bible says and great was the fall of it you must trust god for grace to get out of these balloon results up today down tomorrow are we together now 
the bible declares that the path of the just can be as a shining light when it is not built by patterns it will not last i assure you no matter how flamboyant it looks don't trust it because of the aesthetics trust it because of the patterns that when the rain comes when the wind blows it will stand because it was built upon the rock ministry let it be built upon patterns there are many people for instance who start ministry just because they heard the voice of god <laughs> that looks very spiritual but it's a dangerous motivation for ministry god told me go and start ministry that's wonderful so why did you start the ministry i know that god told me i am sending you to heal the sick i am sending you to be an evangelist the voice of god must submit to the patterns for church growth otherwise you will be surprised that even though it is god sending you you will suffer as if it's not his voice is not in your life are we together there are many sincere people who are under all kinds of limitations in life because they exalted prophecy they exalted the speakings of spirits they exalted the advices of men even well-intentioned people above the patterns of god hear me if you never hear any audible voice and all you do is submit to the integrity of scripture you will have the result that is greater than one who hears every day and does not walk in the patterns listen to what i'm telling you africa is a place of a lot of spirituality delving now into superstition our strength is based on the numerous noise of voices sincere and insincere all together none of them let me tell you no matter how well meaning sustains the ability to keep a man you must subscribe to the patterns no matter who prophesies or blesses your business it does not sustain the ability to produce results transgenerationally until in addition to that voice and that prophecy you subscribe to the pattern that makes for longevity of anything are we together patterns are powerful sustainable results fruits that abide you want to build something that lasts please look up you want to be in ministry or in business or in whatever endeavor you are involved in for a very long time leaders are intentional people they are men of mastery nobody wins the olympic by mistake When you have the patterns, you cannot only perpetuate the results, you can reproduce them anywhere regardless. It is true. It is true. Patterns give you sustainability, look up please, and predictability to your results. When you are up today and down tomorrow, favor today, is favor tomorrow laughing today smiling tomorrow there's too much amateurism and guess what in your work you have to back up and begin to study the patterns that bring predictability to your life are we together for instance using business people as a case study there are many wealthy and blessed people today who rose to the ranks of, of financial abundance through knowledge they can reproduce and perpetuate their result regardless the geographic region regardless the policies surrounding them because they build by light there are others who respectfully speaking maybe just looted from the treasury even though they have it they can't perpetuate it they can't reproduce it because it did not come through understanding hallelujah god is giving you predictability because you see when you succeed usually men will believe you are lucky <laughs> but when your results become sustained there's no more luck there you don't become sustainably successful by luck gentiles can come to your light but their kings only come to the brightness of your rising 
this is true for any aspect of life politics and governance business ministry career family whatever it is provided you hold the keys the patterns that are responsible for that outcome I had the privilege of watching God's servant I couldn't make it and I was watching the 40th anniversary of the living faith and while I heard him preach at a point quite honestly I was not just listening to the sermon again I was saying I remember or I can imagine when the ministry was say 10 or 15 years probably he said after 40 years we'll still be doing this I'm sure there are people who said you are not sure but now after 40 years when I looked at Papa Copeland in his 80s speaking with such conviction I said patterns are dangerously powerful they look like they will fail but you will keep working with them for a long time and they will not fail the simplicity of patterns is why they are not trusted patterns are deceptfully simple if it be thou bid me come come he said and such a complicated issue like walking on water suddenly becomes child's play because someone learned to obey the master spiritual patterns give you predictability and sustainability let me tell you this 30 years if christ tarries 40 years if christ tarries you will still be standing and waxing strong and moving forward because you are not moving yourself forward there is an agency a combination of the spirit and understanding moving you forward fear your result if it just happened but if it happened by patterns rest leads me to the third point spiritual patterns give us peace and confidence it's one thing to have results but it's another thing to trust and to be secured in the results that you have peace and confidence isaiah 33 and verse 6 it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times when you have wisdom when you have knowledge it gives you stability you no longer are afraid of your results why because the some of you here are chefs some of you here are wonderful people when it has to do with cooking and the rest if you ask me now as anointed as i am you bring me ingredients and say quickly you are giving 30 minutes or two hours cook something you have to sign that whatever i cook you must eat it so that i don't know i'm i'm sure that i'm not wasting my time are we together i'll have to pray except if the holy ghost just appears and says add this after 10 minutes add this it's not that bad but i think it's not good too i'm not <laughs> are we together yeah why it's not because the food cannot be made there is a lot of guessing you'll be surprised that salt may be the first thing i'll add <laughs> and then add any other thing mix them i'll just mix whatever the menu says and close it and say lord i unto you i commit this meal but there are some of you here even if we say cook for all of us even if it's for twenty thousand people all you need is space and time you will surprise us like you are cooking for one person because you are cooking out of knowledge you are not afraid of what you are doing the number does not matter the formula is the same are you seeing that now yes so you are no longer afraid of your results listen god is helping you to take away fear the moment you are afraid can i deliver can i not deliver that is a report card go back and become a master masters don't fear they, they are saturated by the ordinances that keep them on top they are secured by it when you say god help me he does not say ah you're about to disgrace my name we're talking of the ancient of days he now says clear let me see that challenge god i've never seen it he said it doesn't matter i'm creator i can take it out of the way mastery we must fade away fear from our lives fear of producing results god blesses your business you make great gain and you're afraid because you are sure it will not last 
the moment you are sure it's not it will not last you are right it won't last I'm called into ministry what is the guarantee that I'll still be blessing people what is the guarantee that if I stand on the crusade ground the sick will be healed what's the guarantee that if I speak God is directing me and saying I'm blessing people I'm imparting someone ah let me not announce it oh what if I now say your name is John and nobody comes out what if I now say God is giving speed and everybody's looking at you no it is a call for mastery you go back and learn the ways of the spirit how can you walk when you don't know the way of the wind how can you run when you don't know the way of the spirit how can you fly when you don't know the way of the wind his power at work in you changing everything in obedience to Christ tonight swallow your pride tonight come to the school of the spirit don't you know in his hands are the keys to eternal life it's a little here a little dear and then your day will dawn he's at work in you changing everything in obedience to christ he's the holy ghost he's the holy ghost is the spirit of the living god he's the holy ghost the scepter of the king of kings he's the holy ghost the seal of the age to come he's changing everything in obedience to christ Rearranging everything in obedience to Christ. You are building everything in obedience to Christ. Please sit down. We have to pray. Peace and confidence. Leviticus 26 and verse 6. A scripture I found that blessed me years ago. Please read with me if you are a Christian. Ready? One to read and i will give you peace in the land say amen. amen let's keep reading and ye shall lie down and none shall make you afraid and i will rid evil beasts out of the land neither shall the sword go through your land peace why job told us the secret that the Lord would deliver you from six things. One of it is the scourging tongues of men. He said, because you have a covenant with the stones. Do you know what that means? That every manipulation of witchcraft depends on the elements of creation to work. But I have a covenant with them. So when you use them against me, they will not work. They were authorized to support me and not fight me. Whether you use water, whether you use the stones, whether you use the rocks, whether you use animals, there is a covenant between me and creation that no enchantment and no divination can stand. So I find rest. I can sleep with my eyes closed. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salaskade Bashkanakata Branda Kateka Kos. Kate Branda Katapa Kotosko.